We're Chris and Marianne, and we've been traveling full time for the past three years. We did it! We're currently attempting to drive Trudy, our home on wheels, all the way around the world. In the last episode, whilst heading towards the east of Turkey, the Turkish government announced a new full lockdown. No! After careful consideration, we decided to drive six hours back to our friend's house, Levents, where we find ourselves waking up to day one of lockdown. Good morning. First morning of lockdown and uh, just head into the bin to throw the rubbish. Oh, just woken up. It's pretty quiet. It's a beautiful morning here in Dalian. I always wake up before Marianne. Um, she likes to sleep in a bit in the morning. I tend to be a bit of an early bird. So, uh, I'll go back and make her a coffee. Morning, love. Morning. You live in a van. I live in a van with you. There you go, my lovely. You. Morning, that'll wake you up. Morning. Day one of lockdown. I think after we wake up, I think a bit of breakfast and then I think... Uh, Am I allowed to tidy the van today? I think we have to tidy the van today. We've kind of just dumped everything because we know we don't have to drive it's just yeah. everywhere i'm actually sounding a little husky this morning <clears throat> i might need a glass of water i sound a bit husky you could do a tv presenting <laughs> and today the video <laughs> <laughs> i don't know what i'm talking about oh i need another coffee I don't know why, but my hand has reacted a bit. I think it's all the hand gels. So it's got a bit bubbly and a bit itchy. So I'm gonna take an antihistamine. I can swallow pills mm. without any water. I just put them in a swallow. Marianne, on the other hand, <laughs> hates pills. I hate tablets. So in the first lockdown in Istanbul, we actually kept a prison style crossing off the days here which we've still got on the inside of the cupboard. So we thought we'd start another one right here. Good night, Ern. <laughs> Good morning. Do you want a bit of food? We stopped up. On cat food. You've got a bit on your head. So this morning I thought I would make some minimum uh, for us and Levent for breakfast and uh, I'm gonna make a little bit of extra sauce because I have a plan uh, and I can use it a little bit later on. Breakfast is served. We've got a nice view here in Dalian, sitting with Mr. Levent, a little bit of Menimum, Chris style, all good. All good. So we've got settled into our lockdown home and we thought we would give you a very quick guided tour. Uh, you've seen it at Christmas when we were here, but let's just give you a quick look. This is the street that we're on. It's all very quiet at the moment. There's Trudy all parked up. We got the awning out and uh, borrowed a table from Levent. So this is going to be our office for the next few weeks. 
And there's also a big hose so uh, we can keep Trudy topped up with water whilst we're here. We've plugged into the electric which is great. So Trudy is plugged in and being kept charged up. And we've got a lovely little garden next door with some chickens and some lovely trees. It's a nice area. Actually, these are orange trees. You can see all the little baby oranges just starting. And they will look like that. We're really lucky. Levent has given us access to a washing machine, which is down here underneath the, uh, the apartment complex here. So we're happy with that, aren't we? It's amazing. There's also um, a little toilet and shower, which is perfect. So there's a shower there, toilet. So that's absolutely one of life's necessities. It's a great shower as well. It's got super power. And even though it's solar, it's so hot. And then there's a washing line here to hang all the clothes up. There's Trudy. And if we go through this way, it takes us into the main courtyard. There's a little communal room in here where some of the other guys sort of pay backgammon and stuff this is the main courtyard which is really pretty with the flowers starting to come out there are actually a couple of families um, staying here during the lockdown we'll introduce you to those um, once they're out and about and they're kind of making our covid family lockdown family <laughs> and then that's levent's office but he's not in there at the moment and then just coming back round we're coming back to Trudy. So there you go, that is the guided tour and we feel very lucky to have everything we need, uh, which during a lockdown is important to have the necessities. When we stayed at Christmas, the internet signal in Dalian was really good. We were able to do live chats on YouTube, etc. This time it seems a little bit slow. Levent was telling us that one of the towers in Dalian has fallen over and everybody in the town is complaining that the uh, the internet speed for the mobile signal is low so if there's anybody from turk telecom listening can you come to dalian and fix the tower please the good thing for us is levent has a cabled system in his office he said that we can go into his office to do any live chats which is brilliant because i'm not sure it'll be fast enough to do it from the van so we've set up our little eye boost here which uh, boosts the wi-fi signal uh, we haven't used it for a while so we're going to hang the little uh, receiver outside to uh, tap into levent's office internet just to boost it in the van there we go and you can see it's got a good signal there it should have a full signal because Levent's office is right there. That means we're all set for doing our day-to-day -day work here. Um, hopefully they fix the cell tower. This little shelf we actually made up before we left the UK and uh, it's brilliant. It fits into the little bracket on the side of Trudy there, uh, which is where the big table fits outside. And it gives us a shelf while we're working because I hate putting drinks next to the computer ever since i had that little mishap in uh, when we were in spain and uh, i killed my macbook by spilling a glass of juice all over it i won't make that mistake again so this is the little office that we've set up we've got the table outside the vent's given me a comfy chair to sit on and uh i'm just going to sit out here for the next few hours and uh edit It's a Saturday and Levent's coming to work. Yep. Oh. <laughs> he works, so he works hard. too hard. He works so hard. And I have little... What is that? Pot and yogurt in it. Oh! Homemade yogurt? Yeah, homemade. My is it wife, homemade? Yeah, my wife uh, made it last night. Amazing. I can see why you married your wife. Yeah. <laughs> She's very clever. Yeah, that know. will be very good yeah. with the strawberries. Yes. Because we have some perfect local strawberries yes. i can see we're gonna have a snack later with strawberries and yogurt <laughs> yes so this morning we are just catching up on work it's a little bit same old same old already day two <laughs> <laughs> but it's really muggy today very warm very warm it's uh they, they reckon it's about 33 degrees here it's cloudy but it is very warm I'm not sure how it happened 
but we've only been here for a couple of days and we didn't get around to tidying Trudy yesterday and she is officially trashed. When you stop somewhere in a van, because you're so used to putting <laughs> everything away after you've used it and you know you're going to be static and you're not going to be moving so things aren't going to fall off. You, you just leave it out. out. In fact, you can put the cat water out. Yeah, Marianne's been sneaking cats in the van. Shh. Look at that. Let's put that under there. Oh, Marianne. It's just one cat. It's just one cat that I let in. Oh, my Lord. One becomes two. Two becomes three. Okay, so what's the plan? We're going to just... Look, we're, today, we're going to tidy. We're going to get everything away so it feels like home again. It is It is trashed. It's oh, my Lord. Trashed. I think it's the worst it's been for a long time. That's because we're still, and this is real van life. Okay, so... I'm just going to open the front here. We've got all the curtains closed because it's so hot. It's just the sun's come out. And uh, by not having direct sunlight coming into the van, it makes it a lot cooler. We've got a box because we thought while we're sorting the van out while we're here, we might be able to send some stuff that we don't use back to the UK, okay. which is a very good idea. This, uh, this screen is brilliant in the windscreen. But it is starting to tear on this corner, so we're gonna, well, while we're here, we'll try and take this. I think the first stage is to get everything tidy, and then tomorrow or over the next few days, we'll have a good sort out of different cupboards and show you what we've got and what we don't need and just have a general sort out. Oh, she's bought more balls. When we were here last time, we had a little friend. I think, <laughs> I think she's found us again. I think she knows that we're here and we have lots and lots of cat food. So while we're parked up here, another thing we wanted to try and do is uh, make a bucket to fit under the drain cover here. So the vent's given us this one. Oh, it fits! So one of the things that we are going to do every night is water the grass because the sprinkler system at the moment is being repaired and uh, Marianne is about to do her evening chores. It's like the last lockdown. <laughs> Gardening. Got to get yourself busy somehow. These guys have made us... what? Manta. But it's Manta oh. from Uzbekistan style. Yes. Is it different? I have no idea. I'm Russian, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. It looks amazing. <laughs> we'll try it and we'll tell you. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you. you. Afia Tolson. Afia Tolson. <laughs> Look at that. I wasn't expecting dinner tonight. They're just so nice. Oh, it smells delicious. They're actually a lot bigger than the uh, manti we had in uh, Kelkan. Mmm. Mm, how good is that? But there's something magical about manta, isn't there? They're really comforting and soothe soothing. And then there's actually not just the paprika on top, but there's mint as well. Can you taste all the mint? Oh, it's lovely. It's really, the, and the yogurt's gone all warm and rich. Mm. It's definitely a comfort food. In the last video, we said, if you leave a question in the comments, we will answer it in the next video. We're gonna do that now. So what we thought we would do is do a three minute rapid fire question session and we'll answer as many as we can. Marianne's gonna read the questions and we'll see how many questions we can answer in three minutes. In no particular order. Where were your neighbors from from the campsite? Ankara. Uh, uh... <laughs> What about the vaccine? Where will you get it? Turkey. Um, how's your Turkish language skills? Uh, mine's not so good, Marianne's better. <laughs> uh, a few things you've learned since lockdown. What about living in a small space? How do you feel about that? Uh, never lose your sense of humour and be patient. Uh, with your van being British registered, your insurance requires a British MOT. How do you deal with this? Uh, MOT is only valid for the UK and Europe. Outside those countries, you don't need an MOT. Um, have you travelled um, once you've travelled around the world, what are your plans after that? Are you planning on going to Africa? Uh, we will go to Africa. We're planning to go to every country in the world, um, backpacking or in the van. So watch this space. 
Um, how'd you get around the MOT for the van? Same. <laughs> uh, you didn't take my advice a long time ago about getting a ukulele. Um, how do you how do you deal with music in the van? Uh, we listen to YouTube, <laughs> but a ukulele would be good. Um, Trudy is absolutely lovely, but whenever I see you guys getting in, in and sleeping with all the windows and doors shut, I feel claustrophobic. How do you feel about it? Uh, it feels cosy, not claustrophobic. Mood lighting. <laughs> um, if you could change three things in Trudy, what would it be? Uh, we did a video, watch the video on it. Um, Actually, we did nine things. <laughs> Hello from Kentucky. Hello. <laughs> um, my question is, uh, have you heard about the timetable of the vaccine? Are you, um, you considered residents? Um, hope you two get the uh, vaccine as soon as the numbers come down. Um, we're registered for the vaccine in Turkey. They're doing the over 55 to 60 at the moment. We're 50 to 55. We need to get it in the next four to five weeks uh, if we're going to go to Russia this year. Uh, do your driving licenses expire again soon and what are you going to do? Uh, the Turkish driving licenses expire every six months we have to go out. It's due at the end of June. It should hopefully coincide with about the time we're leaving. If we end up having to stay because we haven't got the vaccine, we'll go to Georgia and then come back to Turkey. And um, how did Chris propose to Marianne? Ah, um, not very well really to be fair. I drank far too much and then went, will you marry me? <laughs> That's it. Oh no, hang on. There's more than that, Marianne. Um, um, can, you, can you do a video on how to get driving residency privileges and how do you get gas, buy gas? I will try and show that on every video, so e watch, the vi watch, watch the video and if you want um, more just message. How many, after, taking, after seeing so many wonderful places in Turkey, would you take up re residence and where would you go? Um, I would live in Turkey, where would I live? Cash, uh, but I'm not going to because we love travelling. Um, do you have access to the vaccine and will this affect your plans for Russia due to the lockdown? Uh, we're registered and we need the vaccine to go to Russia next would, four weeks. Would you ever consider doing a one week vegan challenge? Uh, <laughs> maybe. <laughs> oh, look at that. Perfect timing. So if you would like your question answered in the next video, pop a comment below starting with the word question and we'll do a rapid fire next episode. See you next time. I'm just going to empty the drain. Okay, love. Oh, <laughs> you're still there. It's the end of the show. But while I've got you, I've got something to tell you. This week, it's the third anniversary of Tread the Globe. And to thank all of you, at the end of the video, we're going to be shouting some of you out. So if you want your name on this, oh, you're still here clip, then pop a comment below and we'll be doing that every episode during lockdown. Thanks for watching and don't forget to click the subscribe button. See you next time.